Hi, my name is Moacir Papi, and I would like to talk about querying Power Center Repository Database. Querying the Repository Database can be really handy on some situations. Let's say that you have a repository with thousands of folders, and you need to send to your developers a list of folders that are actually shared so they can uh, get some objects from there and and use it on their mappings. So the on this kind of situation using the repository manager for instance may not be the more productive way to, to do that. Also you may have you may want to have a list of all your folders or all your sources, search tables, or all your search tables that actually have SQL query overrides, some things like that. I'll just show you guys how to get these on a more efficient way. Okay. One particular tool I would like to talk about is called MetaQuery 3.0. You can actually download it directly from our support support portal communities.informatica.com and let me just show you where exactly you find this MetaQuery 3.0. Here I'm already logged into the communities.informatica.com portal so on your right you have the bugging tools then you have a page with several of the bugging tools that Informatica provides to you and among them we have MetaQuery 3.0 okay the page about the MetaQuery 3.0 is basically the documentation of the product we have a quick introduction purpose of them to prerequisites that we have installation instructions the installation of this tool is really really simple you basically download it from here it's a zip file you double click you double click on it extract the the content on any folder that you want and double click on run metaquery.pat file okay here I have my MetaQuery 3.0 installation. I will just run the met run MetaQuery.pat script. Basically, it will ask you for the details to connect to your repository database. It will use Java to connect directly to the database. Um, you can access repositories on Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, Sybase. Um, on my case here, we, I will show you the usage of MetaQuery on an Oracle repository. <coughs> you need to to put here the logon ID, password, and the details about the connection string, hostname, port, and Oracle SID. Okay, here we have the MetaQuery 3.0. Um, one of the one of the simple tasks that I would like to show you right now is how to get some details about folders. Um, these, as I mentioned, we have here some pre-built reports, and I will just fetch the results, all the results from these report. Here we're gonna have the folder name, the username the type of the object and the permissions that the, the user has on each folder. On this case I'm running on a simple repository so I have just three folders I have only the administrator, user and it has permissions to all the objects. If you're running this against a, a more complex repository you will see a lot of information here which user has permissions and write permissions, read permissions, execute permissions on each folder. 
one really good thing here is that you can actually export these report to an Excel file just clicking on the Save button. It will create a file on what is called a current tier, current folder, that is actually the directory where the meta query is running. Okay, um, let's take a look around. We have several options, several reports about sessions, workflows, uh, mappings. Let's say that you want to take a look on all the search tables that you have on your repository. You can either try to match a filter here or just get all the results, all the results for a specific folder. Uh, on this case I'll just get all the results to show you exactly what we can um, get using this MetaQuery 3.0. Basically we have the folder name, the mapping name, and the source name inside that mapping. Okay, here I have just one mapping, I have objects only on one folder, but it's just to show you guys what you can accomplish with these two. Also you can save uh, the same way you had, you could before and please feel free to download it, install it, you don't need an, any specific license for it. If you, if you have any kind of issue with the MetaQuery, you can also raise tickets with GCS. We will be glad to assist you on this kind of situation. Run this, the reports, try to look around, some of them have so re some of them have more options than others like parameter file name you can get a list of all your parameter file names where they are used comment the com my list of the comments in your common tasks please feel free to to browse around the reports and see what is um, really useful for you Moving on with the presentation, I would like to show you guys a little bit about the tables and the database views that we have on the Informatica Power Center repository and also give you some tips about querying out the repository and show you some sample queries so you can start playing around with the queries on the repository. As you can see here, I'm using Oracle SQL Developer just to give you a, a better overview about the repository, show you a list of the objects that we have there. Please, you can use Toad, you can use SQL Plus, you can use any kind of tool to access your SQL server, basically or Oracle Server or Sybase or DB2. Uh, on this case here we have the repository tables. Okay. Um, most of most of the times they will lead you to some confusing information. So unless you already have a query that uses directly the tables um, it it may not be the easier task, but let's let's run a couple of queries here and see if we can get what we can get here. I'll just show you guys an example. It's a simple example. I'll just get the list I mentioned it before, a list of all the shared folders. As you can see here, I'm getting only one column from the table and I'm filtering by another column. So running the query here is my list of shared folders. Okay. And well that's all I would like to show you about the tables. 
as you can see the repository tables have the prefix OPB and you can also query some tables here and see if you can get some information about it like OPB groups if you see here group ID group name on my case I have no groups and but you also have things like group flags OJ version contact info if you try to get let's say OPB macro args you probably have a lot of IDs these are this is basically internal information it's not something that we have uh, on our documentation and really it's not something we need to concern about on a daily task so let's take a look on something that may be more useful for the power center administrator or even to the power center developer uh, which are the repository database views as you can see here they are ha they all have the REP prefix and the name of the view actually gives gives you a hint about what it what you will have on the as a result of the repository database view let's take a look on another query that I have here um, I got this view here the wrap all transforms which will actually if we run a select star from this view will have a lot of information some of them is pretty straightforward uh, as we can see here we have the the, the folder um, we have the transformation name we have a bunch of IDs parent we get ID parent we get version name um, check-in UTC we have some date information all of these is not exactly necessary and we we'll probably use these to join this information with different uh, views or different tables to try to look for something more complex like um, which transformation runs on each folder or is on each mapping or cross check these with session logs this is really complex query on the repository and if this is necessary feel free to raise a ticket with GCS okay um, let's filter out a little bit more this view and try to get a simple list of the folder the transformation name and the transformation type this is pretty simple this is something more useful for the administrator or for the Informatica Power Center designer okay well that's all I have for now and I showed you guys a sem some simple queries please feel free to browse our knowledge base and there we have a couple of other queries that you may find really useful and if necessary contact global customer support for more details on this I would like to thank you for your attention we also would love to hear from you from about uh, these new support videos and please feel free to send us a an email. Thank you.